welcome back we are finishing up circles part one lesson two the video ran out so we've gone back to redo this so here we go we're looking at the tangent theorem number two and it says if two segments from the same exterior point are tangent to a circle then they're congruent okay so let's see what that means okay we've got a circle here and we've got a point on the outside and we've got two segments drawn to the circle that are tangent so they touch in one place I call this the party hat rule which means that the two segments are congruent to each other so now we're just going to take that and apply it with some algebra so here we go we've got the party hat rule going on we got our circle which I like to draw my smiley face in and draw my party hat so you can see the two segments are congruent so algebraically I'm just going to set those two segments equal to each other so we set up 11 our x squared plus 2 is equal to 11 so this segment has to be 11 too because if that's 11 that's 11 so let's set up and solve for x so I subtract 2 from both sides so I get x squared is equal to 9 so x is equal to square root both sides 3 and it would be positive or negative but we can't have a negative segment so let's look can we plug a positive in there yes because 3 squared is 9 plus 2 is 11 can we plug a negative 3 in there and still get a positive answer? We can. So this ends up being both a positive and a negative 3 possible answers. Okay, so um, number 2. We've got these two segments. We're again going to set them equal to each other. So we have x squared minus 15 equals 14x. Now we don't know the length of either segment because they both have a variable, so you just set them equal to each other. Now, this is a quadratic, so I'm going to have to get everything on the same side, descending order. So I'm going to move the 14 over, make it a negative 14, and bring my negative 15 to the back to get it in descending order. Now I can try to factor it. So what multiplies to 15 that has a difference of 14? And we know that those have to be 15 times 1, and we have to factor it into this the two binomials so let's see well, I want a negative 15 and a positive 1 because that gives me a negative 14 equals 0 and to solve this quadratic my answer would be x minus 15 equals 0 so x is 15 or x plus 1 equals 0 so x is negative 1 hmm let's make sure those work okay positive 15 if I plug a positive 15 in both spots I get positive answers so that's a good answer let's try plugging in the negative if I plug a negative in here I get a negative 14 I can't have a negative length so I have to throw that answer out so in this problem I only have one solution and the answer is 15 okay let's look at the next one